is pretty cool. Wait, if we're gonna have a VBS, we have to prepare so many things. We, we, we have to go over here, and then we have to go over there, and then we have to like stay right here. No, and then no, 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 no. We only need just three things. <laughs> Mystery teacher, I don't know if you've ever had a VBS before, but you can't have a VBS with just three things. That's impossible. No, we only need just three most important things. Hmm, what are they? Are you ready? Yeah. The first thing we need is your Bible. <gasps> Wait, I have a Bible? Oh, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. <sighs> Something like this? That's perfect. Oh, uh, yeah. Wow. Okay. Are you, are you ready for the second thing? Uh-huh. It's your BBS t-shirts. Mm. Something like this? That's perfect. All right. Are you ready for the last thing? Oh, uh, yeah. The last thing is your kits. Aw, uh, I don't think I have a kit. That's okay. We'll get you one as soon as possible. Nice. Wait, but hold on. What's in each kit? The kits are the most essential parts to our BBS. Whoa. And they hold all the different things we need for each station. Station? Yeah. What kind of stations? So many fun things. Uh -huh. Games. <gasps> I love games. <laughs> Tag your ear. No, 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 no. We'll play that later with our friends. Oh, cool. Okay. The second thing is we have Imagination <gasps> Station. Imagination Station. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I'm ready to see what Camo the Chameleon has ready to teach me about how God never changes. Are you guys ready? Yeah, I'm ready. But before that, can we have a time of prayer? Definitely. All right, let's put our hands together. Close your eyes, bow your heads, and let's pray. Dear God, I thank you so much for allowing me to meet Island Boy and to have BBS on this amazing island. I pray that for today, you would keep all of our children safe and let us have a wonderful time learning about you and how you never change. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Wow. All right. That was great. Awesome. Are we ready to start VBS now? Yeah. But before we start, we're going to have a time of praise. <gasps> I love praise. I do body worship all the time on my island. Wow. But I'm usually by myself. It's okay. We're going to have all of our friends with us. Aw, uh, yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. It's a place where you are me. Won't you come along with me? Won't you come along with me? Mystery Island. Hoo-ha. Mystery Island. Rising up above the sea Is a land of wonder Is a land of mystery Mystery Island Hoo-ha Mystery Island hoo So much to discover So much for us to see God's truth never failing All the way through history Mystery Island Hoo-ha Mystery Island hoo There's a place you gotta see A land of discovery Mystery Island, Mystery Island Searching for the ancient truth Hand it down to me and you Mystery Island Come on! Won't you come along with me? On a search to the island For the clues hidden all around Our God is a treasure Just waiting to be found There's a place you gotta see, a land of discovery. It's Mystery Island, Mystery Island. Searching for the ancient truth, hand it down to me and you. Mystery Island, come on. Won't you come along with me? Mystery Island, it's a place for you and me. Ready for discovery? The deeper you dig. The more you will find Cause that's how it works On this city island The path is narrow So stay on track But the treasure is yours If you follow the map God is fearful God is strong I can sing of his love All the day long God is powerful Holy and true I'm ready for mystery How about There's you? There's a place you gotta see A land of discovery It's mystery island It's mystery island Mystery island We're searching for the ancient truth down to me and you, Mystery Island. It's Mystery Island. Mystery Island. It's a place for you and me. There's a place you gotta see. A land of discovery. It's Mystery Island. It's Mystery Island. Mystery Island. Searching for the ancient truth. It's a place of discovery. It's a place for you and me. Won't you come along with me? Won't you come along with me? Mystery Island. Mystery Island Who?
To go, Sam. If we go that way, it's a two-hour hike each way. So it's a little bit of a walk. It will be totally worth it. Hiking two hours, though, a tropical jungle with bugs and things that want to bite us. What's so great about this cave anyway? This cave is always changing, depending on how you look at it. The colors change, just like a chameleon. That's why they named it Chameleon Cave. A color-changing cave does sound kind of cool, but that's a really long walk. Where is your sense of adventure? I've been there before. You will love it, I promise. The changing colors are so cool. You've never seen anything like it. It almost makes you dizzy trying to keep up with it. Like trying to keep up with your ever-changing girlfriends. Hey now, sometimes change is good. What kind of change is good? Well, like the change in the weather. Unless you get caught out in a rainstorm with no umbrella. Okay. Um. What about having a change in plans? Okay. I can't really think of any good changes right now, but there are good changes. There are good things that change, like the change in seasons. But one of the things that I like best about God is that He never changes. He's always the same. You lost me. God never changes. He's always the same. Some people have wrong views of God, and some people even believe in ever-changing fake gods. The God of the Bible, the one true God, though, He never changes. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. But how can we know that the God of the Bible is real? I mean, there are a lot of beliefs about there. A lot of the fake gods people believe in have a lot of flaws. They are moody. They cheat. They hurt or kill people. The God of the Bible isn't like that. He is good all the time. He is great, really, greater than we could ever imagine. Being on this island is making me think a lot about him. When I see all of this beauty, the amazing things on this island. That is created. 
I can't help but think of how amazing our God, our Creator God is. So this chameleon cave that you want to go visit is basically the opposite of God. That's what you're telling me, right? Kinda. That's one way to look at it. Chameleon cave might have changing colors, but the creator of chameleons is never changing. He's always the same. Since we have a super long walk ahead of us, would you all mind telling me some more about the God of the Bible? Sure, let's go! Woo! The animal pal of the day is Camo the chameleon, who is always changing. But God stays the same. Discover God is almighty. Hi everybody, welcome to Mystery Island. Remember what you're supposed to say? Mystery Island! Ooh, ah, right? Can you do it for me? One, two, three, Mystery Island! Ooh, Ooh ah. ah! Wonderful. I'm so glad that you guys all came. Did you guys have fun with worship? How was the skits? I'm sure you guys had a lot of fun. Um, hey, what we want to do right now is we want to get into the Word of God. We want to see what God has in store with, for us with His Word. So, would you join with me in prayer? Uh, let's close our eyes and let's bow our heads and let's pray. Father, I thank you, God, for this wonderful VBS that we can have all together. Even though if it's online, even though it's virtually, Lord, we know that you are with us. You are a good God. You are a great God. You are a God who loves us. And I pray that as we are in your word, that you would speak to us today once again. In Jesus' name we pray. All God's people said, Amen. Amen. Hey guys, do you know what today's animal is that we are talking about? Today's animal that we're putting a lot of focus on is a chameleon. Have you ever seen a chameleon? A chameleon, man. I've seen one in a zoo. Man, those guys, they change colors all the time. They don't stick with one color at all. They change and they change and they change. If they go by the wood area, it changes into a wood color. If it goes by the tree area, it changes to whatever the tree color is. If it goes by just in that wherever it is, it tries to blend into the environment. Why do you think a chameleon blends into the environment? Have you ever thought about that for a second? Well, if you think about it, the reason why a chameleon blends into the environment is the way it's because it defends himself. It's the way it defends himself from different animals that it's going to eat them. They want to blend in so that uh, the animals cannot identify them and they change. And what we want to talk about is this. Our God is not a chameleon. Our God is not a God who's scared. As a matter of fact, our God is great. Can you say that with me? Our God is great. Can you say that? Our, our God, God is, is great. great. He is great. Guys, our God is so great that he is not scared of anything. And today, what I want to share with you is a story. And the story today that I'm going to read, well, we're going to talk about is in Acts chapter 17. In Acts chapter 17, there's a guy by the name of Paul. Paul has a mission. He has a purpose. And he goes from one area to another area to another area to preach about how good our God is. And as he's going, one of the places that he drops by in Acts chapter 17 is a place called Athens. Have you ever heard of Athens before? Have you ever heard of Greek mythology before? Well, in Athens, we see a lot of gods, right? Not a capital G, but a lowercase g, a lot of gods. These gods that we might know about will be some famous ones will be like Zeus. Have you guys ever heard of Zeus before? He's this god of thunder. He's like the father of all Greek gods. Have you ever heard of a god by the name of Poseidon? Poseidon is this god of like the waters. And maybe you have learned and maybe you'll learn a little bit later about different gods. Well, in Athens, Paul sees that there's a lot of these places where they have temples. And these temples, some of them are, are for Zeus, some of them are for Poseidon, some of them are for many, many, many different gods. But one of the locations that he actually sees is that this one temple, it says it's a temple for the unknown god. The unknown god, while well, Paul is scratching his head and he's thinking, what is this unknown god? No, 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 it's not the unknown god, it's the one and only god. It's this god who is great. This God that we believe in, this God who sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for us. 
Well, Paul was there and he was talking to the people who were there and saying, no, this is not just the God of the unknown God. This God is so much greater than your God Zeus, your God Poseidon. He is so much greater than any of these gods that are Greek or from Athens. Well, Paul gives a little bit of a description. In that description, we get actually read a little bit about it in Acts chapter 17, verse 24 to 26. Let's read this together. He is the God who made the world and everything in it. Since he is the Lord of heaven and earth, he doesn't live in man-made temples. And human hands can't serve his needs, for he has no needs. He, gives himself, uh, he himself gives life and breath to everything. He satisfies every need. From one man, he created all the nations throughout the whole earth. He decided beforehand when they should rise and when they should fall. And he determined their boundaries. Let's stop there. Guys, this God that Paul is talking about is the God that we believe in. It's the God that you and I believe in when we go to church and glory church. Pastor Shin, Pastor Rachel, Pastor Hannah, Pastor David, Pastor Ikyon. We all talk about this God. This God who is great. Who created the heavens and the earth. Every single morning, when you wake up, what do you see? You see the sun. Every single night, what do you see? You see the moon. And you know, there are so many other planets that's out there. There's planets like Jupiter, planets like Mars. There's so many different planets. Did you know that that's one Milky Way galaxy? But you know what? God has created so much that scientists today say that there are more than 650 billion of these galaxies in the universe. And we're still counting. This is our God. He is great. Can Zeus do that? No, he can't. Can Poseidon do that? No, he can't. See, the thing is, those gods don't exist. But guess what about our God? He exists. And he is so much greater. He is so much bigger. Did you know that our God even knows how many sand there are in the Pacific Ocean? He knows all of that. He knows how many hairs we have. He knows how many times our heart has beaten. This is our God. Well, guys, you might say, wait, this God, that's great. I mean, back then in Athens, they believed in those gods and these gods and those gods. We're not like that. Well, the thing is this. We might not believe in Zeus. We not, might not believe in Poseidon. We might not believe that they exist, but, you know, some of us have different gods. It's a different idol. An idol is what you keep in front of God. And these idols could sometimes be games. It sometimes can be phones. You see, I want to give you this one message. Our God is great. He is greater than iPhones. He is greater than games. He is greater than anything that's out over there. Do you believe that, guys? If you do, can I hear an amen? Amen? Amen. amen. I believe our God is great. And Paul further goes on saying, this God loves you. And he sent Jesus Christ to die for you on the cross. Do you believe that? Well, if you do, let's pray together. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, God, for this message and this time. Understanding that you, God, you are great. You are greater than Poseidon. You are greater than Zeus. You are greater than any idols that anybody can ever think about. You are a great God. We believe in you. We love you. And we know, Lord, God, you will never change like any chameleon. You will stay great and you will remain great and you will always love us. We thank you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, guys, have a wonderful VBS. I am so happy to be here with you. Bye-bye. Hallelujah. 어린이 여러분, 안녕하세요. 함건호 목사님이에요. 오늘은 어, 위대하신 하나님에 대해서 말씀을 나눌 건데요. 드디어 VBS가 시작이 됐어요. 오늘은 첫 번째 날이잖아요. 위대하신 하나님에 대해서 배울 건데 오늘 말씀 한번 읽어보도록 할게요. 오늘 말씀은 사도행전 17장 27절을 읽어볼 거예요. 자, 목사님 읽겠습니다. 이는 사람으로 혹 하나님을 더듬어 찾아 발견하게 하려 하심이로 돼 그는 우리 각 사람에게 멀리 계시지 아니하도다. 아멘. 오늘 성경 말씀은 어, 사도 바울이 아덴이라는 곳으로 가요. 아덴은 
지금 이름은 아테네라고 불리는 곳인데 그곳이 어, 어떤 곳이냐면 올림픽을 처음 했던 곳이에요. 올림픽이 뭐냐면 달리기도 하고 막 수영도 하고 태권도, 뭐 탁구 이렇게 경기해서 금메달, 은메달, 동메달 이렇게 주는 올림픽 경기예요. 자, 여러분 모두 다 배우 알면 좋을 것 같아요. 그 올림픽을 처음 한 곳이 바로 그 아테네예요. 지금 성경에서 이야기하고 있는 아덴이에요. 그 아덴에 사도 바울이 간 거예요. 가서 보니까 사람들이 신을 섬기고 있는데 신이 너무 많은 거예요. 근데 그 신마다 이름이 있었대요. 그런데 이름이 다 이렇게 있는데 이렇게 보니까 어떤 신은 이름도 없이 그냥 이름 모르는 신 이렇게 써 있는 거예요. 그래서 사도 바울은 너무 화가 났어요. 왜냐하면 이 세상에서 가장 위대하신 분이 바로 우리 하나님인데 아덴에 있는 신들은 모두 사람들, 그러니까 자기가 만들어가지고 자기가 또 예배하고 섬기고 있는 거예요. 그래서 사도 바울이 화가 많이 났었어요. 그래서 사도 바울은 사람들한테 정말 위대하신 하나님을 전하기 시작했어요. 여러분, 저기 하늘에 있는 해와 달과 별을 누가 만들었는지 아세요? 네, 맞아요. 이 우주를 만드시고 우주 안에 있는 모든 것을 만드신 분이 바로 하나님이에요. 사도 바울은 하나님에 대해서 사람들에게 전하기 시작했어요. 우리가 이렇게 살수 있는 게 여러분이 만든 그신 때문이 아니라 바로 하나님이 계셔서 우리가 이렇게 살수 있는 거라고요. 이렇게 전했어요. 뿐만 아니라 하나님이 우리를 너무나 사랑하셔서 예수님을 이 땅에 보내주시고 십자가에서 죽으시고 또 부활하신 것까지 자세하게 이야기하면서 그 위대하신 하나님을 전했어요. 그런데 그 위대하신 하나님이 아주 우리와 멀리 계시는 게 아니라 바로 우리와 함께 계신다는 사실도 알려줬어요. 어? 그럼 그 위대하신 하나님이 우리와 함께 계시는데 우리가 어떻게 알수 있을까요? 네. 여러분 오늘 목사님이 읽어준 말씀 기억하세요? 다시 한 번만 읽어볼게요. 사도행전 17장 27절 말씀이에요. 이는 사람으로 혹 하나님을 더듬어 찾아 발견하게 하려 하심이로되 그는 우리 각 사람에게 멀리 계시지 아니하도다. 아멘. 네, 우리가 알려고 하면 하나님을 알아갈 수 있다고 오늘 성경에 써있네요. 여러분 지금 우리는 미스터리 아일랜드라는 주제로 BBS를 시작했어요. 하나님은 정말로 미스터리한 분이세요. 잘 모르는 우리가 잘 몰라요. 그런데 성경 말씀을 통해서 하나님이 나는 나는 이런 하나님이야라고 우리에게 알려주고 계시다는 거예요. 이번 VBS를 통해서 하나님을 조금씩 조금씩 알아가는 우리 모든 친구들 되길 바래요 오늘은 해와 달과 별 그리고 우리를 만드신 또 그리고 지금도 우리와 함께 하시는 위대하신 하나님을 알아봤어요. 그 위대하신 하나님이, 하나님께 우리의 모든 것을 맡기고 그렇게 살아가는 우리 모든 친구들 되시길 예수님의 이름으로 축복합니다. 같이 기도할게요. 하나님 감사합니다. 우리를 만드시고 또 우리가 살수 있는 이 땅을 만드시고 우리를 살아갈 수 있도록 허락하심을 감사합니다. 우리의 삶을 하나님께 맡기고 살아가는 우리 모든 친구들 되어지게 해주세요. 예수님 이름으로 기도합니다. 아멘
Next, you will need the green paper, which are our leaves, and you are also going to cut it out. Now make sure you don't cut the center of the tree. Don't cut right in the middle, but just cut the little slits right here. Be careful. Once you're done cutting, grab your clay and turn it into a circle. Make sure you mush it up. Wow. With the clay, you're going to grab your island of paper, potion, and then you're going to put it right in the middle and then mold it so that it'll stick. Wow. Ooh. Then what do we do next? You grab your cardboard tube and stick it right in the middle. Your turn, little oh, it's my turn? So then we're going to put the leaves onto the cardboard and make it look like palm trees. Would you guys like to help teachers? Sure. Let's add them. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> wow. wow, it looks like a tree. Yeah. Yeah. So after you put on your leaves, you're gonna get your paintbrush and your little glue cube and you're going to put a little bit of glue onto the cardboard tube and the leaves. Wow. Then it won't have to fall, right Stacey teacher? Yeah. yeah. So once you're done gluing the, the leaves, you're gonna grab some seashells. Johnny teacher, would you like to put seashells? Yes, of course. So do you see these beautiful seashells and <gasps> Ooh, stars? So pretty. So you're yeah. just gonna place them onto the clay right here onto the island. Whoa. You get to design it however you'd like. If you just want one or two, that's all up to you. I want to go to this island. Do you? I do too. Yay! Wait, can I come too? Sure. Yeah, of course! Well, thank you guys for joining us for this mystery island and we hope you guys enjoyed. So, Joanna teacher, what was today's theme? Hmm, I think today's theme was... God is great? <gasps> yes! That is so true! Wow. Wow. So, for today's Second crab, we will be making these beautiful glass gem magnets. So for our first step, we are going to grab our white piece of paper that says God is great and we are going to color it. Okay, so we're gonna color it whatever color you want. Make sure you use a marker so that these bright colors can show through the glass. Wow. Miso teacher, can you show us the next step of cutting them? Of course. So the next step, thank you. Yeah. The next step is we're going to be cutting around the circle. But remember, we have to be careful when we're using our scissors. <laughs> All right, once you're done cutting, Wow. 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 Wait, 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 wait. It says, is great God? Was that how we say it? I don't think so. Can you guys help us? Is hmm. it greatest God? <gasps> uh, I, don't I don't think, think that's so. how my mom says it. Hmm. How about you hmm. try? I think is great God is? <gasps> oh, mm. that sounds. How about, oh, God is. Great! Oh, oh, I think that's it. Yeah. Awesome. Wow. So the next step is you're gonna grab your glass gems. Oh, so shiny, wow. right? But be careful. There's a rounded area and a flat side. So you're gonna turn it to the flat side. And then you're gonna grab your glue kit and your paintbrush. Ooh. Wow. And then you're gonna put a thin layer of glue on the flat side. Make sure to cover the corners oh as well. Whoa. Whoa. That's really cool, Stacy teacher. Teachers, would you like to try? Yes. yes. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. 
So Miso teacher, are you putting a really thick layer, like the whole glue, or are you just putting a thin layer? Stacy teacher said thin layer, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue. Okay, I'll do How the same. How about you try? Thank you, Miso teacher. So just like Stacy's teacher said, we're gonna put a thin layer. Wow. Ooh. Make sure we get all the sides, the curves. Did I do okay? Yeah. yeah. You did. So your next step is to grab your paper and put it on the side, on the gem. So make sure you press firmly okay. so that there's no bubbles. No wow. bubbles? No Do you bubbles. have bubbles? Do you I have bubbles? I, have I don't bubbles. think I have <gasps> bubbles. Okay, we don't have bubbles. And then you're gonna grab your glue kit again and then glue the back side of it on the paper. Again? Yeah, make sure it's a thin layer. Mine's a little thick, but make sure to make it thin. What do you think will happen if you put too much glue? I think the paper is going to rip and the <gasps> colors are going to get all mixed up. Then we have to do it again, right? Yeah. Oh no. Everyone, don't make that mistake, okay? Here you go. Thank you. So I'm going to try the thin layer. This is really hard, but I'm having such a good time. Are you guys having a good time too? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I think I did a really thin layer. Okay. Now what should we do? We have magnets. <gasps> Ooh. But wait, you need to make sure that the glue is dry. So you need to wait at least 30 minutes. <gasps> dry, 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 dry. <sighs> okay. Now that it's dry, you're gonna grab your magnet. <gasps> Here you go. Thank you. Here you Thank go. you. And then you're gonna stick it onto the dry paper. <gasps> wait, Stacy teacher. Yeah. There's one side that's really sticky. <gasps> oh. And then there's one side that's not sticky at all. Which oh. side do we put? You make sure that it's on the sticky side. Oh. oh! So the sticky side onto the glue. Okay. So what do we do? Do you just tap it or should we press it down? We should press it. Okay, press, press, press. Press really press. hard. Press! Yeah. <gasps> should we flip it over? Should Ready? We? Let's do a count down. Three, two, two one. one. Oh, oh, oh okay, now. Okay, let's. This is so beautiful. <gasps> wow. Oh, yours is backwards. My bad. <laughs> so it says, God is great. God is great. Wow, God is great. Yay! Woo! So this is our second craft. I hope everyone enjoyed. Did you guys enjoy? I did. I had so much fun. Thank you, you guys. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. See you soon. Welcome to Imagination Station. Today we have a special guest here for today and her name is Dr. Tam Yoon. But she will only come out if we call her name as loud as we can. But no screaming. Well, let's call her name on the count of three. Three, two, one. Dr. Dr. Yoon! Woo! Woo! Mm, I think I heard my name. Did you guys call me? Dr. Yoon, you're here. Let's welcome her with a round of applause. <laughs> Dr. Yun, what will you show us today? Today, I'm going to perform an experiment to explore all the beautiful colors of the world. Seeing these colors tells us how beautiful God's creation is. So, we're going to pour the water into three clear plastic cups, then put in the different colors into the cups. So first one, is red. Second one is yellow. And the last one is blue. We're going to play a guessing game. Before I put the paper towel into cups, does anyone have a guess what is going to happen? Does anyone have a guess? Fireworks! <gasps> Explosion? Turn into dragon? All right, let's find out. So I'm going to put the paper towel.
look at this. This is what happens when we mix red and yellow. Whoa, I didn't know it's gonna turn orange. Did anyone guess orange? If you guessed orange, good job. If you shout out different colors, that's fine. They were all really good answers. We still have two more tries, so let's keep going. What color does yellow and blue create? Hmm. Shout out your answers. Purple. Pink. Brown. Green. All right. Let's try out the next one. Let's look at the correct answer. Whoa, did anyone guess green? If you didn't, it's okay. I had no idea either. Now, what color do you think we're going to create this time? This time, we're going to mix blue and red. Shout out your answers. Green, yellow, blue. And the correct answer is purple. Ooh. Who guessed black, brown? They were all really good guesses. But if you guessed purple, you got the right answer. Yay! <laughs> Dr. Yoon, how does this happen? This happened because capillary action. Look at this flower. So when we water the plant, the water goes from the ground up through the roots and stems all of the way to the leaves and flower. That is capillary action. This is how the water from one cup moves to the next cup and same thing happened from the other side and creating a new color. Wow, God is the one who made the laws of science. He designed and created them all and his laws won't change because God doesn't change. Let's say Psalm 145 verse three together. Is everyone ready? Let's do it on the count of three. Three, two, one. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. See you next time. Welcome to VBS Tropical Fruit Snacks. I'm so excited, teacher. What are we going to do? Oh, 우리 하나님 말씀 오늘 배운 거 기억해요? No. I'm just excited for a lot of candies today. Don't forget something important. 제일 중요한 거를 잊지 마요, 혜리 티처. Uh, what else is there other than candy? 하나님 말씀, 오늘 배운 말씀. Only one God. God is great. 오늘 배운 말씀은 잘못된 시 우상을 믿었던 사람들에게 바울이 하나님의 말씀을 전했어요. Oh, okay, okay. So you're telling me that I shouldn't focus too much on the candy, but remember mm. that God is number one? Yes, of course. 그리고 우리를 만드시고 세상의 모든 것을 만드신 하나님을 우리가 알고 믿어야 돼요. Okay, yeah. So what are we going to do? 우선 우리를 만드신 하나님은 단한 분. How many? Only? One. One God. Okay. 자, 그럼 우리 헤이 티처가 Oh, okay. Well, we actually created this Rice Krispies one to represent that God is number one. Mm, okay. 그리고 여기 또 골드피쉬도 보이고 스키들도 보이는데. Yeah. So the Skittles is to represent God. Mm -hmm. You know, G O D God, mm, not okay. D O G. G O D. G -O -D. Okay. G O D. Oh wow, I didn't actually realize that. You guys yeah, had cookies. Yeah, really cute, huh? Yeah. Little cookie with the letters. Yeah. 자, 그리고 여기 있는 스키로 
그 다음에 하나님 God, G-O-D 레터를 만들어 볼 건데요. And then we decorate with a gold fish. Where? On, on the plate. On the plate. Yeah, 여기 만들고 난 다음에 empty space가 있을 거예요. 그 empty space는 gold fish로 decoration 해주면 돼요. Oh, oh, I get it. It's because fishes live in water. Yeah, and then also as you could see here. Uh -huh. 이거 피처가 뭘까요, 여러분? I don't know. Uh -huh. Earth. Oh, right. Yeah, I knew that. I knew that. Yeah. 그리고 yeah. 여기 있는 지구 그립에 색을 칠할 건데, we need blue and green color pencil or crayon. Anything you have at your home. Okay. Mm. Yeah, so we actually used color pencils, making it look really nice. 그래서 여러분들도 선생님들과 같이 크레용 그 다음에 종이를 자를 수 있는 가위 필요해요. 자, 한번 준비해 볼까요? 자, 여러분 이제 한번 같이 만들어 볼까요? Okay. Yeah, 자, let's do it. Paper dish. Mm -hmm. Front and back 있어요. 자, front 에는 이렇게 캔디로 데코레이션 해줄 거고요. 이 뒷부분에는 이렇게 선생님 벌써 만들어 놨죠. 이렇게 서, 색칠해서 여러분들이 자른 다음에 굴루로 붙여주면 됩니다. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Alright. 자, so, are we 저는 going to... 저는 블루랑 그린. Oh. Okay. 얼뜨면 딱두 가지 컬러가 right, 생각나지 않아요? Then I will do red and yellow. Okay, any color is good. Yeah. It's going to represent as in heaven, you know? Maybe heaven has red water okay. and gold, you know? Gold plating. That's a good idea. Let's do it. Okay. 자, 여러분, 이제 컬러링을 시작해 보겠습니다. Okay, let's do this. 여러분들, 여기 white spot 없이 이쁘게 색칠을 한번 해 보겠습니다. Student teacher. 네. Do you remember what God made on the first day? Of course! 헤리치전 알아요? 저는 몰라요. I didn't even know what an earth 음, was. 제가 가르쳐 줄게요. 네. 첫째 날에는 하나님은 heaven and earth를 만드셨고요. 그리고 빛과 어둠을 만드셨어요. Okay, so God created the heavens 음, and the earth and yes. there was light. Yes. 우리가 okay. 지금 색칠하고 있는 지구, 우리가 살고 있는 지구도 하나님이 만드셨답니다. Okay. So I actually have a question. Why was it that when uh, Saul was telling these people, why were there so many other idols? Hmm. 글쎄요. 헤이트천 어떻게 생각해요? Well, you know, I actually really, really love candy, right? Mm -hmm. So like, when I was actually uh, saying something like, oh, I really, really want candy, I really, really, really wanted candy. So like, at that point, I wasn't really thinking about God. Oh. Is that, is that, does that mean that I had an, I had an idol? 맞아요. 그거는 헬리 티처가 하나님보다 더 사랑할 수 있는 것이 생기면 그게 우상, 우상 숭배가 될수 있고 또한 아이돌이 될 수가 있어요. 어, oh, okay. So how can I not focus on those idols then? 어, 그것은 하나님께 좀더 기도하고 그 아이돌을 없앨 수 있도록 헤리티츠가 기도하면 돼요. 빨리 해야 돼요? 빨리 해. 난 가했어. 와, 벌써 빨리 했네. 자, 여러분 이제 색칠 다 했거든요. 우리 한번 잘라볼까요? 네, 오케이. 네. 스윈티처. My earth looks really nice right now. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Maybe it's not even earth anymore. <웃음> 다음에 뒷부분에 글루로 붙여줄 거예요. Okay. <웃음> 자. 짜잔! 와우! Wow. 이쁘게 붙였어요, 여러분. 보이시나요? 네. 오케이. 
자, 뒷부분은 이렇게 지구가 만들어졌고 그럼 앞부분은 뭐를 해야 될까요? 우리 캔디를 올려놓고 한번 데코레이션을 해볼게요. 여기 일단 어, 라이스 크리스피로 원을 만들 거예요. 원. 넘버 원. 오케이. 손, 손 씻, 씻었죠, 우리? 아니요. 그러면 물티슈로 한번 여러분들 손을 씻고 오십시오. 오케이. Okay. And we're back. <웃음> 자, 크리스피. 자, 헤리티처. 오케이. Okay. 원을 만들려면 좀 이렇게 좀 스티키 하지만 또 yeah, 예쁘게 만들 거예요. Feels like glue, and I just touch glue. 자, 동그랗게 길게 만들어 준 다음에. 아, 동그랗게? 오케이. Okay. 네. Like a cylinder. 잘하고 있어요. 그 다음에 위에 부분은 이렇게 약간 선생님은 이렇게 만드는 게좀 이쁜 것 같아요. 이렇게 원. 그냥 아무런 모양 없이 이렇게 원을 만드는 것보다는 좀 이렇게 mm -hmm. 해주면 더원 같지 않아요, 여러분? Yeah. So, it looks like a one. 음, 됐습니까? 오케이. 그러면 자, 스키르를 한번 오픈을 해볼 거예요. 자, okay. There's a two skill uh, fun uh, bags. Uh -huh. 일단 이렇게. Can I just like eat one or no? No, not yet. Okay. 다 만들고. <laughs> I really, 먹어야죠. really want to eat one. Okay. 자, we're gonna make letter God, which is G O D. D. Okay. 저는 선생님은 이 green이라는 색깔을 여기 위에다 이렇게 decoration 할 거예요. Okay. Like earth. 얼트가 그린이기도 하고 단 하나의 원, 오니 원 또는 지구가 그린이잖아요, 그렇죠? 그래서 그린을 만들어주고 G O D. I think I am done, but you're done. My plate, already? My plate didn't really have space. Okay. 자, 저도 된것 같은데요, 선생님? G-O-D. Okay. G-O-D 같나요? Okay. Mine looks a little more like Go-D. <웃음> Go-D. Okay, it looks fine. 자, 그 다음에 골드피쉬 있어요. 골드피쉬 한번 열어볼까요? 네. 저는 홀그린 골드피쉬이긴 하지만 여기 또 레귤러 골드피쉬가 있어요. What is the difference between whole grain and regular? Whole grain is more healthier? I don't know, I guess. Okay. 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 Let's decorate uh, the empty spaces. Okay. Goldfish is fish. <laughs> Looks cute. <laughs> okay. Tadan! 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 Yours looks really nice. Nice. But mine looks a little weird. Uh, yours looks good too. Are you sure you're just saying? Yeah, okay, no, <laughs> he's just saying that, guys. 여러분들 너무 이렇게 이쁘게 멋있게 크래프트를 만들었나요? 어 만들었어요. 단 하나의 하나님이란 뜻은 숫자 원을 잘 기억해 주시기 바라겠습니다. Okay, yeah. Good job. Woo! Good job, everyone. 자 친구들도 선생님과 같이 예쁘고 멋있는 크래프트를 만들었길 바래요. 자 저도 빨리 먹고 싶은 거 어쩌죠? 어, uh, pray. Yeah. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for allowing us to remember that you are one. Even though I really, 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 really like candy, thank you for giving me the patience to not eat the candy and finish this craft first. Thank you for reminding us that you are always number one because you are always there for us. Thank you so much. And I pray that we will not get a stomach ache from too much candy. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Yay! All right. Can we eat now? Oh, it's a bowl system. Okay. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. So, thank you for everyone. And thank you for joining with us. Thank you. We'll see you next time, guys. No, tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. Okay, tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Yeah.
Hello everyone! God gave chameleons special eyes that can move in different directions at the same time. Chameleon reminds us that even though animals and people may change in many ways, we have a God who is unchanging and whose character is the same day after day. We have been talking about God's greatness today. So, before we leave, I want everyone to think about God's greatness. God is because... That's right. Do you have your thoughts? God is greater than you can ever imagine. God is always great. And God is always good. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you. There's a place you gotta see A land of discovery It's Mystery Island Mystery Island Searching for the ancient truth Hand it down to me and you Mystery Island Come on! Won't you come along with me? There's a place you gotta see, a land of discovery, it's Mystery Island, Mystery Island, searching for the ancient truth, hand it down to me and you, Mystery Island, come on, won't you come along with me? How it works, a mystery island The path is narrow, so stay on track But the treasure is yours if you follow the map God is faithful, God is strong I can sing of his love all the day long God is powerful, holy and true I'm ready for mystery, how about There's you? There's a place you gotta see A land of discovery It's mystery island It's mystery island Mystery island We're searching for the ancient truth Hand it down to me and you Mystery Island, Mystery Island, it's a place for you and me. There's a place you gotta see.